Hello and welcome everybody. Here we are for a contest between Ashwin and UC Boy. It's a five minute balanced odds game. It's going to be a blower. And guess what? The man of the moment is in the house. Right there. <laughs> On his phone. And uh, here we are. Gonna just destroy him, you know, because he's an amateur just like the rest of you. <laughs> and uh, I think I think we're gonna put him under a bit of pressure here. Ooh, he didn't like me attacking him, so fine, fine. We'll block it up instead. Now I think he should have checked me there, but uh, he didn't. So I'm anyway gonna make a preemptive defensive move. Now this is a nice at attacking move from UC, uh, bringing a lot of possibilities on that pawn there. So we're gonna have to fortify it slightly. Okay, getting creative. Uh, getting creative. Creativity is the uh, the main spirit of chess, you know. So I applaud this. I applaud this, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna respect it. it doesn't mean I'm gonna respect it. What am I gonna do instead? I don't know. I don't really have a plan. I gotta say, um, but I kind of like this, even though it's somewhat antithetical if that's the right word <laughs> so it's a five minute contest uh, it gives us enough time to have a truly strategic battle you know to really ask the right questions in chess you can't just out blitz your opponent you have to play the right moves A little bit of strategic silence here so that I can get this plan rolling, this little pawn storm booyah maneuver. <laughs> uh, but this is a nice, this is a nice move, a pretty high quality attacking move here. I gotta give credit where credit is due, but uh, we're gonna go for the jugular on this one. We're gonna go straight down the throat of the opposition. Because you see, his pieces are sort of blocked away from his king. Uh, that's a, that's a, you know, this is the problem with balanced odds. We can make a desperate move and it's a good move. Pity, pity. <laughs> Real shame, but still, we're going to keep the pressure on. We're not going to let him um, have start attacking us. Okay? Because that would be suicide. There's no way you can just simply hold the position. Not against a man like UC. UC is a bit of a tiger. You see, he's lining up his pieces for a big attack. And he knows the secret of balanced odds chess, which is that uh, you can make, how do you say, sacrificial attacking moves and it can pay off. So he understands that critical aspect of the game, which makes him dangerous. 
but there's some excellent defensive play here that I'm mixing in between, not letting that knight come to the square it really wants to. You know, this is part of the st minor strategic positioning that is essential. Uh, I mean, it's not all about attack, attack, attack. You've got to keep the enemy at bay as well. All right. Now comes the big moment in the game here. How do we do this? Now, now you've got to think concretely, okay? So I'm going to just focus. <sighs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> so I'm just maybe a, is that too slow? Let's think a more fast approach. Yeah, this definitely feels the most attacking, but let me see the other more forcing line. It lacks the finishing touch. So I'll go for the more, the one which I've calculated a little better, and this seems clearer. Because that king is really under a lot of pressure. And he doesn't have a good escape square. You see, okay, this is a forced move. Forced move. Ah, this is annoying. <laughs> This is annoying. Okay. Okay, now I'm behind on the clock and there doesn't seem to be an easy way to attack. Oh. This seems like a blunder. I, I don't think that was worth it. That was a bit too hasty. Because the king is, it is a little bit vulnerable, but now he, oh. Oh, now is that part of a big strategic plan or, hmm, now that, because the bishop has slid out of position, the hidden check maneuver is not as powerful. And <laughs> am I just telling him the tricks? Now it's even on the clock. In fact, you see starting to run low on time. Feeling the pressure of not having any clear. But just just play aggressive moves. Just uh I don't know. I don't know. Do you have to defend? Okay. 20 seconds now you gotta play, bro. Got to play. That that should that move should have come much sooner. I'm afraid. Uh, mm. okay, we gotta go for a forcing move. Oh, this is the move. This is the move. Yep, we got it.
just too good. And now we, we can even play the freaking sacrificial game ourselves. All right, good game, good game. Now, you see, what did he do wrong there? Uh, can you hmm. put the okay, let's put the analyzer on. Let's put the analyzer. Game review. Yeah, I need one blood, two blood. Right. Yeah, it's analyzing. Um, let's see, shall I move this out of the way? Yeah. So there we have it. One player was winning, but then gave it away. That's you. <laughs> Uh, I had 92% accuracy and I made one blunder in my entire game. You had 78% accuracy and you had two blunders. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't play that badly, but let's see. When I had 10 seconds. Yeah, this is all good. All strong play from both sides. It's very strong opening. Very high quality game here from both sides. Really, a, a really high quality game. All all are within good and excellent. Really? Yes. Five. Good, best, excellent. All of even the knight sacrifices. That's weird. Yeah. This is crazy. And even that, even up until this point, it's <laughs> you're okay. King yeah. King here was your only blunder? That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I still just I can run away somehow, you know. Yeah. What should I have done? Can you go back? Uh instead of king oops. Instead of that, you should have gone down. Yeah. To the side. Yeah. And then uh, the next move would be rook check, pawn takes, rooks double up, and yeah, it's a it's still an even game here. I mean, it's not even. You're winning because you're safe. You're safe. Yeah. But <laughs> incredible game. Yeah. Well done. Well done. All right. See you later. You want to really improve your game. You got to play balanced odds because that's a way for you to really test yourself out against the best. So I invite the next one of you. You know, if you haven't met me before, just friend me on chess.com and send me a challenge because I'll blow your mind out and I'll make a video about it. So subscribe, follow, and like for more content like this and send me a challenge. See you.